Hello everyone, Chris Kiddie. welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360. Last time, well actually, you know what, I'm going to be honest, I haven't played this game in so long, I have 100% forgotten where I'm going right now. So this allows me to show you kind of a nice feature of this game that it is. Um, sorry, I'm kind of monkeying my way around this the roof tops, because I want to get to that building. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, Sonic. Sonic? Oh, I've already collected that coin. Okay. Whatever, we're done here. So, the main thing I wanted to do today is... this. Well, this is what I want to show off. I wanted to go to the Professor because... If you're ever lost and don't know what to do, talk to the Professor. He tends to know what to do. I think that's actually what I needed to do, is to talk to him. Who knows? <laughs> I'll report to the strange robot sightings here and in Chunan. Alright. So we're off to... Well, I'm going to first head up to Chunan, but I think we might have our first encounter of something that's... Either rare or non-existent in this game, which is two day daytime stages back to back to back to back to back to back back to back. You better get on track. Back to back to back it up. Sorry, I had a Sonic Rush lapse. Forgive me. Anyway, so we're off. Well, we're gonna go off to Chunan because I. Well, if there's many of you people that want to see the the stage coming up here. I'm gonna just tease you and show you the not this stage that is popular. Good evening, Chunan. How's it going? Got any specific rows? So what is going on here that is a problem? Oh, also water. Oh, there. Uh, I already collected that? No, it didn't look like I had. Also, the village elder from Mozuri is here. Randomly. It's not... <laughs> look, water is not over Sonic's head. He'll live! Oh, those are the... Okay. Let's go. Can I talk to you and see what's going on? Ah... Uh, So I must go save the village from monstrous monstrosities of monsterism. Monster. You. Ha ha ha. I'm a terrible person and you love me for it. Regardless, I think... Uh, yeah, but like I said before, I think we actually have the rare occurrence of two daytime stages back to back to back to back to back. I've already used that juke once. Find a new one, dude. Hello. 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 It. Oh yes, I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you this because well, it just popped up. Notice how this right here is a. This looks like a boss. Well, some of you would see uh, associate with a boss, and it has a nighttime moon in it. You may have to go full screen to see this actually, but it's got a nighttime moon in it. But you can step in there either at day or night. You're you no matter what, more or less, you have freedom to go into this boss time stage at any point and repeat the boss with the with the dark phoenix or the guy or. Phoenix Gaia or Gaia 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 words of talking that the game tries to make me do, but I refuse to because I don't Spanish. Anyway, after being a bit bigoted, uh, I'm looking around the here for metals. I bet I've collected most of them, or most of them are up top. Wow, that d dynamic lighting. Nope, not drowning. Although I think came over here for nothing. So, Jesus, my way over, and I think we have to go. I think we just have to go up. How do I get up there? I'm. Oh boy. Do I go up one of these? I'm trying to remember. I, I do apologize, folks. I don't remember how to get up there. I am supposed to go up there to get to get to the next daytime stage. 
Oh, dang it. I was supposed to hit that spindle. I was supposed to hit that little twisty twirly flying myself off in a random direction with the dealy bopper watch me jigger. Or can no daytime Sonic can touch them. There, I did it. Uh, X? Oh, not that. I feel dumb because I should have the light speed dash. I have the light speed dash, right? Oh my gosh, why do I feel so stupid? I don't think I have the light speed dash, actually. Wow. No, I'm I am hardcore derping. So maybe I am supposed to go up this series of logs here. Again, I apologize, folks, but I don't remember. Ha! Nope. Maybe I'll just go to daytime. Maybe I'll just go to Spagonia instead. Maybe I am supposed to go there. <laughs> I am sorry for the random for the randomness of all this, I apologize. But I believe I'm supposed to, I believe I am actually supposed to go to Chuna at some point, but I think I'm supposed to have the I'm supposed to have well, kinda obvious, it's a wall jump. But I'm gonna go back to Spagonia and see if that's where I'm actually supposed to go. Spagonia in the daytime. And I do think I actually need to go to the stage select area. Wow, seven, mi seven minutes of me mum fumbling around. At least I showed you how to get one coin. That's a plus, I guess. Okay, yep, now I'm getting it. Okay, that coin I collected up top, the ring trail up top, or the shoes that I showed in the cutscene are actually the light speed shoes. And you get the wall jump shoes in this area, I believe. I believe I can fry everything. Burning. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with this ride. Okay. You can take me back. I'll I'll enjoy the free ride back. I have, I, have remor I vaguely remembered a coin back there. That's why I went back there. Hmm. My commentary seems to have taken a poop. Taken a poopsie. Gus, so that, um... This looks like I should be here... I think my wall jump shoes are in the next air are in the next room. Um, ah, you're gonna try and block me out, but you forget fool. I own. Why did you block me off? Why did you turn? Why is there a laser? But the shoes, necessary shoes of necessary. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do it. <laughs> Anyway, where was... I saw a, uh... thing. Oh, it's up there. Oh, I can't get it for, I can't get it right now, anyway. So how you're supposed to do this, you're just supposed to go up here, homie attack this, stomp, and then you get your shoes. Oh, and... Okay, so we are supposed to wall jump for that one coin. So the wall, so these shoes, the wall jump springs. So how the, so how you do it is just jump at a wall, perfectly, you know, perfectly flush against the wall, and press A, and you can press B to get off a wall. It's actually really simple, and oddly enough, really well done. Now I can't quite get over there yet, so unfortunate. Oh, right. Go underneath. So now we have the wall jump shoes. We can go up to the daytime stage. Well, Spagonia! Which was right back there, but I decided to keep going forward. Grinding around at the speed of sound. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, there's, there's stuff everywhere up here. Oh, well, we'll, we'll look into it later. For now, daytime is Spagonia. Now, notice, notice the name of this is Rooftop Run. 
I will go through the stage as fast as I can because this is kind of the stage that everybody knows from this game and will appreciate how fast I should be going. I'll come back and look for stuff in it later on if need be. But, Rooftop Run is the level. This is the ex exact level that was parried in Sonic Generations. And you'll notice it like right away. It is really just go as fast as you can. Now, no, in this Sonic game, drifting was was really just wasn't really Sonic going into a ball. It was him. It was him actually pulling along the ground with his feet with and with his hand to try and drift around a corner as hard as possible. You know, hardcore parkour. Oh. Oh, I thought I didn't... I have ring energy. Why aren't I boosting? There we go. So there's going to be some pretty iconic segments here, like the big drift turn. And this thing. Which the game... Which both Sonic Generations and this game actually give you prompts for. And I am failing terribly at... Hey, look at me! I can't do a simple command. God, I love this song. I love this stage. I miss this stage. I am so happy. Oops. Try it again. Now, actually, we, you can come back to the stage later and get further along the stage with the uh, Lightspeed Dash. So, there's a little bit of replayability hiding in here. Now, I think there is a coin hiding in here somewhere. Oh, a tape! There's tape! Remember a coin here, too. Or maybe that's a red ring from another game. In a similar segment. Oh, there's the coin! It's at the top of that. Anyway, going down. Whatever. Let's get the Muzak! Whatever. No, nope, we won't get the music. We'll just run through the stage now. And the other iconic part, which is robots shooting lasers at you that you must dodge with incredible ease. Oh my god, this stage, you guys. You don't even know. You don't even know. Anyway, go to the right here for a quick, easy coin. Quick, easy daytime coin. They hide it really well, too. But That's like the one coin I remember very vividly. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even know. You guys don't even know how happy this stage makes has always made me in this game. This is where I was like, okay, Sonic's back. And everybody's like, no, Sonic Generation sucks. New game blocks. This voice isn't really hard to do, so new game blocks. Ah uh, yes, yeah, spike barrels. Avoid spike barrels. They hurt. They burn your brain pan with the with the death of a thousand suns. Anyway, I don't really have much to say this about the stage other than it is awesome and in, uh, incarnate. It is awesome and it can. Oh, right, another light speed dash bit. Watch me fail this part because this part I'm not used to doing because normally you can light speed dash forward here or light speed dash like skip most of this. But yes, everybody, everybody remembers Sonic and platforming, right? Well, hey, here's Sonic and platforming. No, shut up. Oh, hey, how's it going, Rubitz? And quick time events. Now, to my knowledge, these quick time events never change unless you start a new game. So, if you have, if you have the same buttons, if you have the same buttons now, you'll have the same button forever and always. Can I, can I dash? Can I go do the fast moving? <laughs> robots. Silly robots. Oh, I want that. Oh, I missed the jump. I missed my calling in life! Nope, no problems. Oh, oh, not that. I'm too focused on dashing now. I might have missed something good because I'm too focused on dashing. Uh, do this combo for an easy metal and keep an eye out. There, easy, 
Easy nighttime metal. And now this portion. Everybody should know this portion, right? Wow, I have 600 rings. Well, hold on. Okay, I have 600 rings. I don't think you can go over 600, though. Anyway. Ah, dang it. Oh my god, I lost 300 rings in doing that. Oh god. They're fighting. <laughs> the enemies, they fight back. Who said they could fight me back? Dang, I'm not quick enough for that. Not quick enough to fight back. But yeah, there was no actual... You were, ne you were never chasing a giant ship originally in this stage. You were actually just mowing down these green robots. There's no... You don't really get a bonus for mowing them all down, so... But that, ladies and gentlemen, is Rooftop Run in all of its glory. And I will probably not get a lot of those medals, just because I'm going to be focused on speed. Uh, Rang Energy. There, we are more efficient with our rings. Let's go ahead and level up our speed. Hello. Oh, hey, it actually fit. Sonic's fast, guys, I swear. Oh, goodness. Now... Now that we have the wall jump provided to us by the spring shoes, we should be able to advance forward, correct? We still can't get into the Spagonia Temple because we need to go to Chuna. Chuna na 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 I've been pulling that joke a lot, but I think it's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Sonic Unleashed, everyone. I thank you all for watching. Sorry, I'm doing two things at once. I thank you all for watching this episode, and join me next time when we will go to Chunan in the day. I'll see you there.